Hey guys, Yvette here and I'm the Witch of Willow Creek and today I believe is day 28 of hashtag 29 tarot spreads in 29 days brought to you by myself and Dee over at Divination and hashtag 29 candles of February brought to you by Chris over at Slip the Trap and I will put everybody's links like always down below as we are using of course the book and the where you can get that book, I will put it down below. Also, um, guys, just one more day. We're almost done. This was a really, really fun challenge. Um, I really enjoyed it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I am really thankful for those who joined us and those who are doing it at home. Practice, practice, practice. Um... So let's get started because we are doing, wait one minute, and you know, you know my time limit. We're doing Embrace Your Creative Process Spread. And it's an eight card spread. So let's, let's shuffle. Let's shuffle, 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 shuffle. Yeah, that didn't work. Let's do it this way. I'm having trouble with my, I've been having trouble with my hands since yesterday, guys. Like, totally, they stiffen up and, and cramp up in positions that shouldn't be. I didn't know my fingers and hands could do, okay? So, <laughs> I didn't know they could get stuck that way, but they did. Two, that's three. Now I'm starting to look underneath while I'm cutting it. <laughs> All right, question number one. What helps me accept my creative gifts? What helps me accept my creative gifts? What helps me accept my creative gifts? Four of Earth helps me accept my creative gifts. And that one goes up here, right there. Okay, let's read that. Hopefully, we don't run out of time. Because if not, y'all know the drill. So, four of Earth. Oh, ownership, the beauty of divine order, trusting in a solid foundation. So, yeah, what helps you accept my create? Helps me accept my creative gifts is. Um, Accepting them very much. Even when I feel like I am not very creative in moments, I know I trust in my ability to be creative. Like I said before, my imagination runs, my imagination runs wild with me sometimes. Gets a lot of people in trouble though. <laughs> Number two. How do I dedicate a specific amount of time to it? And yeah, see, we had this conversation last time when I had the writer's block one. I don't. I don't dedicate enough time. How do I dedicate? How do I dedicate a specific amount of time to it? How do I dedicate a specific amount of time to it? Ten of waters. So yeah, pretty much it's an emotional creativity for me. It is an emotional thing because for me, it's it's writing. So I have to be able to feel it. I have to be able to, my characters have to have, um, this one goes over here. My characters, like I have to know my character like per personally, like, if you were to get to know a friend or whatever, you know, like, you know yourself. Like, my characters are ex an extension of myself, right? So, for me, it's all emotional. It is. 
I emo I, I am I'm emotional when I write all the feelings are all in the paper it's just how it is number three do I have the space to work in well, I better have the space to work in I have like three desks in my house I mean, if I don't have a damn desk, I should be able to write on the tablet on my bed or on, on the laptop, type it in. Eight of air. This has come up a lot for us lately. Eight of air. Okay, let's read that one. Eight of air. Do I have the space to work in? Yeah. I should have the space to work in. I mean, release from denial, seeing things as they are, clarity. Huh. With spirit at my side, encouraging me, I open my eyes to see things as they really are. So do I have enough space? Yes, I do have enough space. Okay. Question was, I already knew the answer. <laughs> Number four, should I work in the same place each day? No, see, that's the thing. I think I shouldn't. Eight of Earth. Eight of Earth. Well, should I work in the same space every day? Apprenticeship, gaining knowledge, learning, and employing a new craft or skill. So, hmm. I mean, if you're employing a new craft and skill, but we're talking about the same craft, the same skill, and should we um, stay in the same place or have a different scenery every time? And I'm of the mind that I need a different scenery all the time. So that is pretty much, you know, learning something different, meaning for me that I'll take that as being somewhere different. So, so that is for me a, uh, a no. Should I work in the same place each day? And that's a no for me. I shouldn't work in the same place each day. Um, number five, can I recognize and utilize creative spurts? Can't I recognize and utilize creative spurts? Well, these are pretty yes or no. So. Can I recognize and utilize creative spurts. A lot of times it happens to me while I'm out and about and I, I seriously need to walk around with a tablet or something to write down with. Or maybe I should record it because, yeah. Eight of Waters. Eight of Waters. Apparently not. I don't utilize my creative spurts. I don't because I do. I need to walk around with a, with a uh, tablet or something to record when an idea comes to me. And I get a lot of them. I'm like, oh, my character could be doing this, but I have nowhere to write it. Like it never, never dawns on me to grab. And then right now I can't carry. I had a hard time grabbing my drink that I bought at the convenience store, one of those cold ice drinks out of my damn cup holder in my vehicle. Like I could not lift it to get out of there. I had to have my son help me. Or I had to use two hands to do it. It's ridiculous. That's, it's be, I've become that weak, guys. It's just ridiculous. Um, number six, is there a muse lingering near me? Well, let's see, is there a muse lingering near me? Is there a muse lingering near me? And the Ace of Earth. Guys, and that's a stag. I'm going to go with a yes. Like, how is that not a yes? You know? 
number seven. What am I capable of? Number seven. What am I capable of? No, that's too, too, too many, too many. What am I capable of? King of Waters. I can do this. I just gotta do it. I am capable, capable of writing this damn book as long as I get my shit in gear. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Number eight, what helps me let go of the end result? Uh, let's see. What helps me let go of the end result? What helps me let go of the end result? What helps me let go of the end result? I'm a little snacky, guys. <laughs> out of the blue, just out of nowhere, I'm snacky. What helps me let go of the end result? The Ten of Earth. We're at 11 minutes. The Ten of Earth is what helps me let go of the end result. So let's read that one. I mean, we could read the King of Waters that we got earlier, but see. The ten of Earth. Affluence, material abundance, mastery. Mastery, financial security, inherited wealth, and knowledge. So in the end, what helps me let go is knowing and mastering. Mastering my craft and knowing that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's go check out the King of Water real quick. King, 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 me. Let's see. What am I capable of? Okay. Generous, dip diplomatic, fair, gentle, a good listener, non judgmental, peacemaker, mediator. Why do we have to be talking about me? Why does that have to be calling me out? Okay, I know I'm capable of those things. Those are kind of qualities that I, that I, you know, inherit. But, yeah. I'm capable of getting this done, guys. I can do it. <laughs> but it ain't going to happen right now because I'm moving. So as soon as I get to the new apartment, I need to sit my butt down. Right out of schedule. That's what I need to do. It's freaking, I have a planner. I plan every L, everything else around my, uh, you know, in my planner. Why don't I freaking dedicate some time to my fucking writing, right? Anywho's, day 28. I'll see you guys for day 29. Bye, guys.